How is the training camp in Italy? Uh, really good. Um, hot, which is exactly what we're looking for. So, uh, humid conditions, um, which is again like the the climate that we can find in Japan. So, really good preparation leading into into the World Cup. Oh, I think probably most of the other sides will be we trying to find somewhere similar. Try to train. I think Wales have been out in Turkey, so you know for us it's 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 about making sure we're the best prepared we can be. So we feel that those those two weeks there, um, you know, potentially we'll look to get back there again for for a few days. So yeah, we feel that's put us in good stead. A couple of uncapped players in there, so Jack Singleton and Lewis Little. How's they been getting on? Really well. Um, you know, this is probably physically the best I've ever seen. Jack Singleton, he, he's been in the squad since he, he went to Argentina with us in the Lions here. Um, so he's, he's been part of, of the of the bigger squad um, and he's been great. You know, he's got himself into a real good position physically and, he, and he's impacting on the squad. Same for Lewis. You know, Lewis has come in with real energy, real enthusiasm, um, great attitude to training, always, always doing more. So really added value to the squad. Matt on the sidelines today. Um, how's he uh, progressing? Yeah, Max going really well. He's he's probably a little bit of a head where where we thought he might be at this stage, um, but we're not going to rush him. You know, we we've got really good depth in that position with with Joe Myler and Ellis Genge and, and even a guy like Ben Moon. So you know, Max a, a massively influential player for us. So he won't get rushed. And uh, Jack Knowles, well, how's, how's he? How's he yeah, he's going to, uh, again with Jack. It's sort of week by week we'll see where we get to with him he's obviously seen a specialist and uh he is where he is now so he's he's working extremely hard and from a rehab point of view um and like i said we'll you know we'll, we'll make decisions on that closer to the time there's a lot of talk on the uh, scrum half backups for, for youngs um are you confident with uh, who you've got lined up potentially yes yeah you know the, the players that we've had in um you know we've had ben spencer and, and willie hines um both of them been really good trained really well um, you know, Willie's, Willie's uh, come into the squad, um, bore real experience. Um, you know, he, he's played a lot of rugby in, in different parts of the world, so he's, um, he's added real value to the, to the squad as a whole. Yep, and the same for Ben, you know, something a little bit different to Willie, but um, both of them have been very good. Uh, finally, from me, um, so how much is the selection riding on how players perform against Wales? I look, we've been looking at this for the last three and a half years, so there's no way that 80 minutes is going to massively swing. Um, it's a test match that we want to win um, and, and every day is a selection day, you know, everything, everything you do in camp is about preparing yourself, making yourself better, so selection is something that happens every day, not just on, a, on the 80 minutes on the weekend, um, so yeah, like I said, that, that process has been going on, ongoing for a while. Uh, just a few things from me, Neil, yep. how real has everything started to feel now with the first test warm-up game coming up on Sunday? Um, yeah, it does, <laughs> like I said, it felt pretty real out in Treviso in, in the temperature and the heat, um, but the guys have been great. So since we turned up, um, you know, seven weeks ago now, I think what it is, um, the attitude's been outstanding. I think, you know, World Cup started, is not just starting now. Um, it's, it's been ongoing for the last few weeks. Um, and the attitude around has been really impressive. And playing Wales, is that sort of a perfect challenge really for you guys to, to start with? Yeah, it's, it's a great challenge. You know, they're a really good side. Um, they're a side that we respect and, and it'll be a good challenge for us, you know. So we want to see where we are physically, want to see where we are tactically. So you, you want to play against good teams, uh, you know, to that, that test you to the max. And Elliot Daly said last week that every player will give it 100% and I know injuries play a big part in warm-up games. Does that sort of mentality sit with you guys as coaches? Do you feel like you want to see players give it 100% or is injury something you worry about in the back of your mind? No, you're playing for your country, it's 100% or, you know, or nothing. So the, the players, we haven't even talked about that, you know, the players' attitude has been brilliant. The way that they've been training, they've been training 100% in training, so, no, you know, that's not a concern. One of the players back in the side is Joe Marler. I mean, what's he been like around camp and how pleased are you to see him back in England? Yeah, <laughs> yeah really pleased. Um, no, it's great to have Joe back. You know, like I said, it's, a, it's an area of strength for us. Ellis Genge has, has been very good. You know, Ben Moon is good for us over in Autumn. Mako, you know, Mako's a world class player. So to have somebody with 60 caps at the age of 28 come back and add, you know, the, the bite and the experience that Joe's got, it, it's been brilliant. You know, the stronger. The stronger the playing group we have to select from, the, the better it is. Yeah, and just finally for me, Neil, one of the other players at the opposite end of the spectrum, Alex Domban, obviously missed out on the 32 man squad, but how impressed have you guys been with his progress this 12 months ago? He's just finished university. Yeah, you know, so for a guy who's, who's really been playing full time rugby only for a year, he's done exceptionally well. You know, he came out to Italy, his body shape's changed. We saw his club coach today and he said he didn't recognise him when he went to, to Quinn's the other day. He lost five or six kgs, you know, he just he looks leaner, he looks more athletic. Um, so he's done well, you know, he's trained really hard, great player in open play. 
Um, and again, you know, it's, it's about adding sort of depth to the squad, and, and he's definitely done that. Can I just ask very quickly, yep. um, with Theo Brown and Cipriani all out for this uh, Wales test, does this mean, what, what, are they being rested, or does this mean they're out of selection, or where does this fit? No, nobody's out of selection. You know, we've had different players at different times. So we had Sam Underhill out for a week, and Ant Watson went out for a week. So, you know, Ben's out for a week. We'll, um, it, it doesn't mean the door shut on anyone. No, not at all, until selection's made. Thank you. Yeah, what's Pleasure. the benefit of naming this squad so early, you know, after the first week four warm-up games? Why, why are we throwing in options with that? Uh, I think it increases our preparation time. So with that 31, we then get that additional time to really hone what we're trying to do tactically, what we're trying to do physically with the players. Um, how we want to play the games, so it gives us real good preparation. But would, you, would you agree that it does add a bit of pressure on those players involved on, on Sunday to kind of make their final claim to the World Cup? No, I don't think so. I don't think there's anybody who's seen that game as you know as, as sort of the the final the final hurrah. Um, you know, we, we've been watching these players for three and a half years, most of them. So we've got a, a real good idea of where they are as, as people and as players, and, and what value they add to the squad. Um, so, like I said, there's, there's, it's not going to be a real big swing on, on one game. We, we know what they train like, we know how they perform. So, you know, we, we've, be, we've spent a long time sort of developing that knowledge.